immediately you will see that those Irish creams are quite pricey. I'm not going to say the brand names, but you can do it on your own. So what you need is a couple ingredients. You need some heavy cream, you need that sweetened condensed milk, you need some Irish whiskey, some vanilla, some chocolate syrup, and some instant coffee. And this is the closest I've been able to kind of recreate it. Uh, this does need to be refrigerated and it'll last about two months or so if you keep it in the refrigerator. But if you give it for holiday gifts, make sure you tell them to put it in the refrigerator as well. So I'm gonna combine it in a bottle because I'm gonna wanna shake it later. And I'm actually gonna use the alcohol last so that it kind of cleans my funnel out because some of this stuff is quite sticky. So let's start with, let's start with a little bit of that cream, maybe half of the cream. This is one cup of heavy cream. You can use half and half or whipping cream. I just wanted to wet that funnel a little bit. You're gonna use one can of sweetened condensed milk this gives a nice thickness. It also gives a nice sweetness. When I lived in Australia, we used to make this all the time. Okay, I'm gonna put two tablespoons of chocolate syrup. You could use powder too because you're gonna be able to shake this all in, but I like to use the, the liquid. I'm gonna use two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Please make sure you use the real kind. One teaspoon of instant coffee. Yes, instant, because it's going to mix in better. Okay, I'm gonna put the remaining cream. I used whipping cream today, a heavy cream, but you could use half and half. And one and two thirds cups of Irish whiskey. This might not all fit in here. I might have to put it in a pitcher and mix it and then put it in here. And that's live cooking for you. So I'm gonna put it in a pitcher. I'm using a funnel because I wanna make sure I get all that coffee out of there. Rinse it all through. And there's the remaining one and two thirds cups of the Irish whiskey. Now, one and two thirds cups is exactly a Mickey, one of those small uh, bottles of it. It's 375 milliliters. Now we're going to stir this through, make sure it's completely mixed. It's even the right color. Stir that through until all the coffee is dissolved, the chocolate syrup is all dissolved in, and that sweetened condensed milk is completely combined. And you could even do the variations that one of those brand name ones um, have. They have a caramel one, they have a minty one, I think, for the holidays. So you could always so, add a peppermint schnapps or you could add a creme de mint a little bit in there, but that's what it looks like. Or you could add some candy cane tingling in there and, and mix that up as well. So there you go, that's homemade Irish cream. Oh, it smells amazing. Irish cream is probably my very favorite alcohol. You can make some really cool holiday cocktails with it as well, or you can just drink it on the rocks or as shots. You could make little candy cane shot glasses and use that. All right, now that it's combined, you might need to give it a few minutes just to make sure that that chocolate and everything and that especially the coffee um, gets dissolved. So into the bottle it goes. I guess what doesn't fit in the bottle we'll have to take care of tonight, so. Sounds terrible. So there you go. You have your own whole bottle, and that's way less expensive than having to buy that brand name. There you go. Look at that. Yummy. So that goes nice in eggnog as well. You can make beautiful uh, martinis with this. You can make all kinds of cool shots. One of my favorite shots is a B52, and that has Bailey's as well. That leaves us with almost an extra cup. I can put that back in, in the Mickey bottle. In the meantime, let me try that. Now you could put, you could make a nice big batch and give that to people for Christmas. People would love that for Christmas. I think that's a fantastic gift. Here you go, cheers. So it has the same color, it smells the same, and it tastes almost identical. Mm. Creamy, it has that, oh, that beautiful flavor, that creaminess to it. It's got just the right amount of alcohol in it. It has that little tiny coffee hint, that little tiny chocolate hint, and a little bit of vanilla. It's awesome. Mmm. That's how you do it. So get creative this holiday season with some homemade edible gifts. Hey, I don't, I don't know too many people that would turn this down. <laughs> anyway, keep that in your refrigerator again up to two months or so. I don't think it's gonna last you through the holiday season to be honest. So that's how you do it. That's how you make homemade Irish cream. You can do it too. So simple. Couple ingredients and you're on your way. All right? Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. 
Check me out on Instagram.com slash webchefofalltrades. My shows are online on YouTube.com slash cookingwithkimberly. And come to our website at cookingwithkimberly.com. Subscribe and interact with us. Let us know what's going on in your culinary world. All right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.